People gathered in St Helens Square on Friday in York as global climate change protests took place all over the world. And with an array of important matters being talked about, there was quite the atmosphere. Elizabeth was there to spread the word about eating a plant-based diet. There's a couple of us here today uh, just handing out leaflets about why we should go vegan for the environment, um, as well as the animals and our health. Um, but we just thought, there's a lot of people here that um, obviously care about the environment and that's really good and we want to support them and we're going to come on the march and everything as well. Um, but we also wanted to get the message out there that we can do things ourselves, such as going vegan, you know, just cutting down on plastic, going zero waste, kind of thing. So, as well as like going to the government and trying to get them to make change, we need to make changes ourselves. And one big thing we can do is to do the diet. So yeah, I'm more on the ground, like trying to get people to make smart things themselves, because uh, I think that's what it's required. A key point being raised by many at the march was that of fracking. And David is from Frack Free Rider and hopes to convince others and the government that it is not a viable option. Fracking, it plays into climate change in terms of it's another fossil fuel which this Tory government are trying to open up. Uh, it's the complete opposite of what we should be doing, bearing in mind the climate change crisis that we're facing across the globe. Uh, we've already seen in places like uh, America and Australia where fracking takes place that it has horrendous implications for the climate. Uh, it also has health impacts, it has pollution impacts, and so to us it's a no-brainer. And yet the present Tory government seem to be uh, determined to push, it, uh, push ahead with it against popular opinion. He then talked about his group's campaign work. Well, we, we started our campaign five years, just five years ago. We celebrated our fifth anniversary just recently. And it was started because there was a threat of fracking in a village called Kirby Misperton in Rydale. And we have, through our campaigning and all the various arms of that campaign group, managed so far to thwart the attempt to frack in Kirby Misperton. We are still campaigning and we'll continue campaigning until there's a complete ban on fracking. With the issue of fracking a constant talking point when it comes to the climate, a statement last month from the government's business and energy department outlined their position on the matter. Shell gas could be an important new domestic energy source, reducing the levels of gas imports while delivering broader economic benefits. We have world-leading regulations that ensure shale gas exploration happens in a safe and environmentally responsible way. The Oil and Gas Authority is currently undertaking a scientific assessment of recent industry data which we will consider once completed. The war on climate is ongoing and protests seen in St Helens Square becoming very common. But with protesters arguing that time is running out, it seems their measures are only going to continue. Rory Ward, That's TV.